What drew me to the tattoo culture? It's one of those few things that there was total commitment or outlaw connotations. You know, not everybody had them. So you saw somebody with tattoos, you're like, wow, that's radical. It had a permanence that, especially today, is lacking in anything. I liked that other people didn't get tattoos, that it was exclusive, forbidden. I liked all those things. I wanted to get tattoos, but it still wasn't so accessible. I never even considered becoming a tattooist. I did a lot of artwork on a lot of mediums, but music was my more passion at that point. TSOL, we were lucky because the Orange County SoCal scene was a very active and burgeoning scene, you know, just really exploded. We were really lucky to be at the right place at the right time. And then we had the tattoos and we had the Long Beach, Huntington Beach entourage. Not so many of the bands had any of that stuff. And granted, we were kids, so maybe to grown men today, we didn't look very dangerous. But as kids, we looked really dangerous. It was a wild time. So how I got into the tattooing, the band wasn't active at this point. So when I was looking for a good place to be, Mark offered me that job at Tattoo Mania. And that's how I met Gilmani. And so I was just working there, and he's like, ah, you got a promotion. And I'm sitting on the toilet cleaning tubes, and I'm looking in the mirror, I go, yeah. You know? And he's like, so you're in TSOL. You know, he talks like a pirate. And he's like, ah, rock star, huh? And I said, yeah, that's why I'm sitting on the toilet cleaning tubes in the bathroom. <laughs> But so, th that was nice to meet Gil, and Gil became, a, a, I think, a lifelong friend. I was lucky I was in a good place with good people. I decided I wanted to start tattooing. Well, Hollywood really prepared me for Las Vegas. It's similar. The wide open party kind of whole thing. Traditional tattoo shops is kind of like a party, or it's a, it's a controlled chaos, you know, a little bit. And certainly Hollywood was, and Las Vegas is too. Ours is the most true, real tattoo feeling shop, I'll guarantee, in any casino. That's part of the allure. I came out here initially for one day a week, Sunday night, and pretty soon it was like write your own schedule. And I've been here ever since, and that's been eight years. And it's changed my life, actually, working for this company and in this shop in this town's changed my life. But the fact of the matter is, I live in Los Angeles. For eight years, I've been coming to Vegas for three, four days a week, and I'll continue to do so.